Here we have a SAT math question. Okay, let's go to the information. The equation of a parabola is written in the form y equals to ax squared plus bx plus to c, where a, b, and c are constants. When graphed in the xy plane, the parabola has vertex negative 1,4 and does not intersect the x-axis. Which of the following could be the value of a negative, b negative, c? Okay, so here we have a parabola defined by y in terms of x. So whenever we have uh, the equation of parabola in this form, y equals a x squared plus b x plus to c, we'll have a vertical parabola and uh, the parabola may open up or they may open uh, down. Okay, so let's uh, use the given information. That is the parabola as vertex negative 1 comma 4 and does not intersect the x-axis. Okay, first let me sketch an x-y plane. Here we have an x-ray plane. Okay, let me uh, plot the vertex negative 1, 4, the x coordinate negative 1, and the y coordinate is uh, positive 4. Okay, now we have to decide the parabola opens up or down. And also the question says uh, the parabola does not intersect the x-axis. Uh, since the parabola does not intersect the x-axis, it has to open uh, up like this. So because if the parabola opens down, so it will intersect the x-axis at somewhere else over here and here. So that's not possible because the parabola does not intersect the x-axis. The parabola must open uh, like this uh, with the vertex uh, negative 1, 4. Okay, and also the x, uh, the y-intercept uh, of the parabola must be at somewhere else over here where uh, the y coordinate has to be greater than 4 because of the vertex of y coordinate is 4. So the y-intercept of the parabola uh, must be at somewhere else on the y-axis where the value of y coordinate has to be greater than 4. Okay, so now uh, we have the vertex negative 1, 4 on the parabola. So since we have this uh, vertex, I mean the point negative 1, 4 on the parabola. So what we can do is we can plug in this point negative 1, 4 into the given equation of the parabola. So that is how to plug in this uh, y coordinate 4 for this y and the x coordinate uh, negative 1 for this x. Okay, first let me write the given uh, equation of parabola as it is. So y is equal to x squared positive bx positive c. Okay, now let me plug in the y coordinate of the vertex 4 for y over here and the x coordinate negative 1 for x over here. Positive b times uh, negative 1, positive c. Okay, 4 equals to so the evaluation of negative 1, the whole square is just 1. 1 times a is a. Positive times negative will become negative b, positive c. Okay, now I got the value of a, negative b, positive c that is equal to 4. But according to the question, I have to find the value of a, negative b, negative c. So here I have a and here I have a, here I have negative b, negative b, but instead of negative c, I have positive c. So I have to make this positive c as negative c. So how do I have to make this positive c as negative c? For that, I subtract uh, 2c from both sides. When I do so, I'm getting uh, 4 negative 2c equals to a negative b. When I simplify positive c, negative 2c, I'm getting negative c. Here we have the expression a negative b negative c. Uh, there is a whatever expression for which I have to find the value according to the question. The same expression I have over here. And for this expression a negative b negative c, I have the values uh, in the answer choices. Okay, now we have to find the one uh, which can be the value for this expression a negative b negative c. Okay, first let me verify option a. That is uh, whether negative phi can be the value of this expression a negative b negative c. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in this value negative 5 for this expression a negative b negative c. Okay, let me do it. So 4 negative 2c equals to I plug in uh, the value of uh, the value we have in option a for this uh, expression a negative b negative c that is negative 5. Okay, now let's solve for uh, c in this equation. For that, I have to subtract uh, 4 from both sides. So when I do so, this positive 4 negative 4 will cancel out. I'm getting uh, negative 2c equals to uh, negative 9. Okay, so my aim is to get the value of c. So let me write the equation over here, negative 2c equals to negative 9. Okay, to solve for c, what I need to do is I have to divide uh, both sides by negative 2. When I divide both sides by negative 2, so this negative 2, negative 2 will cancel out. c equals to, or uh, this negative, negative will cancel out. Uh, 9 divided by 2, uh, we get 4.5. So the value of c, uh, we get uh, 4.5. Actually, what is c? So let's uh, consider the equation of the parabola that is y equal to x squared plus to bx plus to c. Actually c is a constant uh, in the given uh, equation of the parabola and this constant c uh, refers to the y coordinate at the y intercept. So as we sketch the parabola over here, the y coordinate of the y intercept has to be greater than uh, positive 4. Here we got c equals to 4.5. Uh, so this value is greater than positive 4. That is the y coordinate uh, of the y-intercept of the parabola is greater than 4. So the value we got for c over here uh, satisfies a given condition. So that is uh, the y-intercept, the y-coordinate of the y-intercept uh, is greater than 
for so negative phi uh, is the value for the expression a negative uh, b negative c so the correct answer choice for this question is option a anyways uh, we can verify the other three options too okay let me erase the other stuff okay now let me consider the value have an option b that is negative 4 for this expression a negative b negative c let me take negative 4 over here okay now uh, let me subtract uh, 4 from both sides uh, so because my aim is to get the value of c uh, which is a y coordinate at the y intercept of the parabola so when i subtract 4 from both sides is positive 4 negative 4 will cancel i'm getting negative 2c equals to negative 8 let me write the stuff over here okay now to solve for c i divide the both sides by negative 2 when i do so this negative 2 negative 2 will cancel i'm getting c equals to this negative negative will cancel 8 over 2 is uh, 4 okay so i'm getting c equals to 4 so that is uh, the y coordinate of the y intercept is uh, 4 but that's not possible because here 4 is being as the y coordinate of the vertex. So then the parabola will intersect the y axis uh, at where uh, the value of uh, y is greater than 4. But here the y coordinate of the y intercept is 4. That's not possible. So the value we have in option B that is negative 4 cannot be the value of uh, this expression. So we can reject option B. Anyways, uh, like uh, now verify this option C. That is uh, we have to consider 0. Uh, as a value for this expression. Let me plug in 0 for this expression. Okay, now let's solve for C. For that, I have to subtract uh, 4 from both sides. When I do so, this positive 4, negative 4 will cancel out. I'm getting negative 2C equals to negative 4. Then I'm getting negative 2C equals to negative 4. Let me divide both sides by negative 2. So when I do so, this negative 2, negative 2 will cancel. I'm getting C equals to 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that is a y coordinate of the y intercept of the parabola is 2. That's not possible because here uh, the vertex is a minimum point and uh, the y coordinate of the y intercept uh, uh, is equal to 2 uh, that's not possible so we can reject uh, option c also anyways uh, we can verify uh, the value of we have an option d that is uh, i have to plug in uh, 4 for this expression over here so when i do so uh, so i have to solve for c in this equation let me subtract uh, 4 from both sides so when i do so the positive for negative 4 will cancel i'm getting negative 2c equals to 0 so negative 2c equals to 0 then i divide both sides by negative 2 so this negative 2, negative 2 will cancel. I'm getting C equals to 0 divided by negative 2 is 0. So that is a y coordinate of the y intercept is uh, 0, but that's also not possible. So clearly the y coordinate of the y intercept over here is uh, greater than uh, 4. So the correct answer choice for this question is option A. So that is uh, negative 5 uh, could be the value of this expression A negative B negative C.